This coconut tree here has a serious problem. It is not going to live. This palm has been infected by a weevil and it's dying back in the center here. So I'm gonna take it down and we're going to dissect it and see if we can find any bugs inside. And if there are any grubs, I'm gonna eat them. You can see here there's signs of uh, secondary infection. There's uh, you know, mold growing, there's rot here going down into the center of the tree. And when I cut it, I could actually see inside the trunk it's turning spongy and watery. Usually it's pretty hard to cut through a coconut palm, but this one was not as hard as I would have expected. So we're gonna open it up here and see if we can find any insects on the inside of it. Smells bad. Smells like rot, which is not what the inside of a coconut palm should smell like. You know, it looked like it's still alive and it's starting to grow, but the center bud, when the center bud is destroyed on a palm tree, it's dead. It's done. It cannot regrow from secondary points like, say, an oak tree could, where you cut it down and it's going to put some shoots back up. There is one growing bud on a coconut palm capable of growing and putting out new growth. When it is destroyed by an infestation, it's done, it's over. It's very sad. Coconuts are one of the healthiest things on the planet for you. Very useful tree all around. In my previous video on yam propagation, Annie Mee said that I had a sissy knife because I was cutting him open with a little paring knife. Well, this is not a sissy knife, all right? This is a Raider Bowie. This is a Spec Plus Ontario USA. This is a real not sissy knife. Look it, man. Yeah, we're gonna open this with a not sissy knife. All right, let's get in here. Really, you don't really want me having anything sharp, do you? I mean, you know what I did to my hand, right? But, 
This is stronger than a machete for getting into this thing. I'm hoping we're gonna find something because I, I want to eat it. That's the heart of palm right there. That's the delicious part. Still. It's actually still all right. I might take this part and eat it. I don't know what's going on here if it's not beetles in the heart of palm. You can see the rot. That's all rot. What's happening? No idea. This is a very fine vegetable right here. And it's not rotten in here, so I'm just gonna put these pieces aside. I'm sure there's a much prettier way to do this. I've totally butchered it the wrong way. I'm gonna have 20 people telling me that I did it wrong. I know I did it wrong, I'm sorry. Right in advance. I'm a very humble man. I apologize. There is rot right through the center here. I mean, this is bizarre. Well, you see, I thought this was dying because of a, uh, a weevil infestation, something like the witchy grubs that eat the uh, center heart, but there's rot in here instead. So my guess is, is this tree has succumbed to some sort of a blight. It was dying, we had another tree die. I found a weevil in it, but I um, don't know if the weevils came first or after the infection started. So don't really have a conclusive cause of death, but I'm gonna say it's probably not lupus. Well, no grubs to eat, but I did manage to get some delicious heart of palm. That's a very fine vegetable. They call it uh, palm cabbage, you know? There's a lot of palms that you can eat the heart out of. It's kind of freaky. Sort of like the natives that used to eat the hearts out of their victims. I don't think I'm going to be able to sleep tonight now. Thanks for watching. I'm not going to chew on camera. Just a second. I mean, I'm not going to talk with my mouth full on camera. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and catch me on the web at thesurvivalgardener.com. And until next time, may your thumbs always be green. I went to see David. Ah, that David. The David the good. We sing about science and other nautical terms. This is the bow. He played piano and I sang through, through what? something other than a Sennheiser. I keep having these dreams where I'm running and running and running and running and then when I can't run any longer, there it is. Just as real as you and me.